Good morning. Today we're gonna talk about case 31, 2017, 13, a 20 years old man with abdominal pain, fever, and weight loss. Now, the symptoms: it was weight loss, upper abdominal pain. His pain radiated to his throat, increased after eating and drinking, and did not damage with ibuprofen. Final symptoms. The temperature was uh, 37.3, the blood pressure was 101 and 68 millimeters of, of mercury, the pulse was 114 beats per minute, the respiratory rate was 20 breaths per minute, and the oxygen saturation was 100%, while he was breathing on an ambient air. The abdomen, the abdomen was soft, with normal bubble sounds and without tenderness or distension. There was macular hypermentation of the feet and legs that rapidly had not changed for 10 years. Stephanie, I'd like you to rate your pain for me. Zero being no pain at all and 10 being the worst pain that you've ever felt, um, which would be sticking your hand in boiling water. Where are you at right now? Like a six. Okay. Um, exactly how would you explain this pain? Oh, I just, I feel a lot of pressure in my stomach. A lot, a lot of, of okay. it hurts. Okay. This, this is an oral thermometer. thermometer. This, this is, is one of the more convenient routes, routes to take temperature. temperature. Make, Make sure the probe, probe is placed firmly under the tongue, tongue then have the client close their mouth. The, the thermometer will beep when, when it's done. done. The, the machine can also be used to take action. What happened then? The patient left the hospital, but today after he returned with more pain. Doctors made some exams like tuberculosis and HIV. They, those exams were negative, so they have to make another test. It is important that the Manchu TB skin test be done correctly and read accurately. It takes practice to be good at doing this. Your skill in administering the test, reading the results, and responding appropriately are important to the control of tuberculosis. Prepare for the test by gathering the necessary supplies and equipment. Meet with the client to explain the test, obtain informed consent, and make certain there are no contraindications to giving the test. Answer any questions and ensure the client can return within 48 to 72 hours to have the skin test read. Begin with hand hygiene, then check tuberculin has been stored according to guidelines and has not expired. Draw up exactly 0.1 milliliters of tuberculin. Clean the injection site with an alcohol swab and let dry. With the bevel of the needle facing up, insert the needle at a 15 degree angle just below the surface of the skin. You will feel some resistance as the tuberculin is injected. Placed correctly, the injection will produce a wheel 6 to 10 millimeters in diameter. If a wheel this size does not appear, the test must be repeated 5 to 10 centimeters from the first site or on the opposite arm. Dispose of the needle in a box.
this is just testing for the results. So now you're seeing one dot, which is showing us that the test worked. And it's finished, so that's a negative. This test is sensitive up to the last six weeks, really. The final test they, do, they did is a helicobacter pylori test and it was positive. So the patient was dying because of helicobacter pylori. This is a test for helicobacter pylori. Excellence introduces the Breath ID HP Urea Breath Testing System. The Centers of Disease Control and Prevention estimates over two-thirds of the world's population is infected with H. pylori, often unknowingly. The bacteria causes a variety of gastrointestinal issues, including the majority of gastric and duodenal ulcers, and is even linked to gastric cancer in recent studies. The Breath ID HP Breath Test System is a state-of-the-art, continuous flow, real-time breath testing technology. Clinically proven to be 100% sensitive and 99.2% specific in testing for H. pylori and designed to only take 10 to 15 minutes from start of the test to immediate real-time results. A physician can now, in the very same office visit, obtain highly accurate test results and immediately prescribe treatment if the patient tests positive for H. pylori. The Breath ID HP has also been designed to be CLIA exempt, enabling any physician staff member to administer the simple and intuitive test. And with established urea breath testing CPT codes, the Breath ID HP offers very important opportunities for greater revenue potential, most often with higher reimbursements in revenue than with other non-invasive H. pylori testing methods like blood antibody and stool antigen testing. Here's how the simple Breath ID HP breath test for H. pylori works. First, the test operator gently places the nasal cannula in the patient's nostrils, ensuring the tubing is arranged until it fits comfortably. The patient relaxes and breathes normally. Next, the other end of the tubing is easily connected to the Breath ID HP unit with a simple twist. The operator presses the start button on the interactive touchscreen and the system begins collecting baseline data of the patient's normal breath. While the baseline is being established, the operator prepares the Breath ID HP test drink by mixing the contents of the test packet with warm water, stirring to ensure the mixture fully dissolves. The mixture of carbon-13 urea is what helps identify the presence of the H. pylori bacteria. Once the baseline of normal breathing has been established, the system instructs the operator it's time for the patient to drink the glass of solution. After the patient finishes drinking, the operator presses the continue button on the touchscreen beginning the system's measurement of the metabolization of carbon-13 urea. Progress is shown on screen. If H. pylori bacteria are present in the stomach, the carbon-13 urea is metabolized and appears in the patient's breath. If H. pylori bacteria are not present in the stomach, the carbon-13 urea is naturally eliminated. Measuring continues until sufficient... So this is how the recovered pylori test is made.